Let's have a look at how you can delete queries and what is the difference between deleting query and deleting only the product generated by the query. Please open file attached to lecture, which is called delete queries version 4 empty. As always, in the sheet master, we will have a table of content. As you can see, we have three different pivot tables, sales by month, by departments, and by product, where we have data shown based on the table that went through the Power Query and helped us generate those three pivot tables. To see the queries, the easiest way is to go to data, pick queries and connections. On the right, he will show you the list of queries. Let's make it a little bit bigger so we can see well the list of queries. Now let's see how we can delete that. So there are three ways in which you can delete a Power Query. The first one is simply to go to Power Query by clicking on that. And in the Power Query, you can simply select the query you want to remove and press delete. He'll ask you whether to delete it, delete, and there we're done. Now, if we go back, we'll no longer have this query. It's worth mentioning that the product generated by this query still is here. So we have deleted sales by month. As you can see, the sales by month pivot table was not removed. However, we have removed the Power Query generating it. There are two easier ways to do that. So you can delete from the list by simply selecting the Power Query and pressing delete. And again, he will ask you to delete it. The third way is to right click on the query and then on this you will see the possibility to delete the query. In all three cases, deleting the query will not delete the end product, so the summary in pivot tables that we have created. So if you want to get rid of one and the other one, you will have to do it independently. Now let's see what will happen if we leave the query, but we remove the power pivot. So let's go to the product of the sales by department query. This is in the sheet sales by department. Select the whole area and let's delete it. So the power pivot was deleted. However, as you can see, the query is still here. Moreover, instead of having how many rows we've got, you've got this information that it is connection only. So the query we have created, it's still there in the background. We only don't show it here. And there is a connection between the input and output file. Now, if I wanted to bring the pivot table generated by this query, I would simply have to go to the list of queries, right click on that and pick load two. And here he will ask you whether you want to change the connection in something else like a pivot table. Let's do it and let's point him to existing worksheet cell A5, as you can see here. We press OK. And now we can recreate the pivot table by putting the right things in the rows and in the values. To sum up, you have three different ways to delete the queries. You can either do it by going to the Power Query Editor or simply deleting from the list available on the right. To get to the list, just go to Data and Query Connections. Deleting the query does not remove the product created by this Power Query, so pivot table or table. It's also worth mentioning that deleting the, the end product, for example, the pivot tables, will transform the query into connection and you can reuse it later on.